Hi everyone, my name is Arvalyn Hill and I'm the coordinator of family programs at the Everett's Children's Adventure Garden. This week I have a fun activity for you to do with your family around plants and the environment. Uh, to do this activity you just need a few simple materials. We're going to be zooming in on nature. So for this activity you just need a piece of paper or a notebook, a pencil, and then you're going to need to make a frame either out of cardboard or paper. You can use a frame that's in your home already. And if you have a hand lens or magnifying glass, that's helpful too, but it's not required to do this activity. So grab your supplies and then we'll get started. All right, welcome back. So I found a spot outside where I'm alone. I feel peaceful in this location. And I want you to find in your location or whether you're indoors or outdoors, one section using your frame of that you wanna look at more closely and more carefully and really zone in on. Uh, because going outside in nature and looking at plants sometimes can get really overwhelming. There's a lot to see and it's hard to know where to focus your attention. So the frame will give you an opportunity to just focus on one section and write down and draw all the things that you notice about that section. So I'm gonna put my frame right here. And I started to write down and draw and use my magnifying glass to see all of the little details that are in my frame. I've found so far dandelion flowers, I found dried leaves. I even found some seeds that were from the dandelion that had already gone to seed. I also saw many different colors and textures. For instance, I see yellow, I see green, I see brown. Um, I see dried leaves that are more crumbly and I also see newer, fresher leaves that are vibrant green. So as you make your observations, think about these things. What types of colors you see? What types of textures? What types of shapes you see inside of your frame? I want you to draw them all and write as many as you can. And you might even find other living things other than plants such as insects as well too. So this just gives you a chance to zone in on nature and look a little bit more carefully at your environment and what's around you. I hope you enjoyed this activity. Thanks for watching.